How's it going guys? Cody, we're back again. We're dropping yet another video. Right guys, uh, this video, as you can see from the title, uh, is another, another story from my former prison, Forest Bank. Now, thank, thankfully to a subscriber of mine, we was able to get this story up. I didn't get, I just, I just passed the info on. Uh, a subscriber of mine was down near Forest Bank Prison. He'd gone for a walk. There's a lot of um, walkways at the back of the prison. Come back to his car and saw three or four fire engines flying past on this private road going to the prison. He reaches out to me. Very grateful to this uh, subscriber of mine. Very, very grateful. Um, obviously, first thing I do, uh, this was just an hour after it happened. He gets on to me. I go straight to the, to the paper. The paper do the story. Brilliant. So this is a story in the Manchester Evening News, guys. Link in the description below, like I always do. It's only a short story. Let's get into it. <clears throat> Prisoner starts small self a uh, small fire in his cell at Forest Bank. The incident has been referred to the police. A spokesman for the prison said. A prisoner allegedly set fire to his own cell at Forest Bank. The place was put out quickly and no one was injured. A spokesman for the Category B men's prison in Salford said. The fire happened on Tuesday, May the 19th. The incident has now been referred to the police. Prison bosses have said. HMP Forest Bank is a private prison run by Sodexo Justice Services on Agecroft Road in Pendlebury. has a capacity uh, for 1,460 prisoners. A spokesman for the prison said, A prisoner started a small fire in his cell on Tuesday, May the 19th. The fire was extinguished quickly. No one was injured. The incident has been referred to the police. GMP have been contacted for comment. It's a quick and easy story, guys. Like I said, I'm covering it because obviously I, I, I get lots of stories out about Forest Bank. And thank you to my subscriber because we've got another one out. Like I said, it's a small story. You've got to think, why is this fire been started? I've seen people set cell fires. There was a kid called Williams, a Welsh kid who set a cell fire when I was at Forest Bank. Um, I think it was on, it was G2, uh, and which was the induction wing at the time. And that fire was set because a screw knocked him out, apparently nutted him and laid him out. Um, I'm not gonna mention the screw's name. Uh, he was a very, very, very big guy. Uh, he's an Everton fan and I actually got on really well with him. Um, so it's one of them situations, but he's a really good officer and I can't say anything bad about him. Uh, but he, he laid this kid out. Like I said, I did, we was all locked behind our door, so we don't know what went on. Uh, obviously, I'm for prisoners, so one of them. Uh, but yeah, he set his, I actually saw him set himself, uh, so, not his cell, sorry, his cell on fire. Um, and he was ripping, I've gone to his flap and he was, he was on the buzzer and he was kicking the fuck out of the doors and I've gone to the flap because uh, I was a cleaner, I was unlocked, and he was ripping all his letters up, all his paperwork, throwing his clothes onto the bed, and uh, he set his, uh, as I've gone back, he literally set his uh, cell on fire. Um, and listen to this, this was, this kid could have died, right? Listen to this, right? When you set your cell on fire in prison, <clears throat> they don't run and open the, open the door and pull the prisoner out. Oh, no, no. Not until the fire's out whatever comes with that, whether that's someone unconscious, whether they're not conscious, whether they are conscious, whether they're dead, they will not open that cell until that fire is out. Even though the walls are very thick and there's not much flammable stuff on the on the landings, they will not open that cell. Now, in this incident with Williams, right, listen to this, it was me and Whippy, right, who, I think it was me and Whippy, and we raise the alarm. So we run to the office, right? Because the thing is, when you, obviously within your thingy, there's an extractor and it sets the alarm off and everything. And normally, very temperamental. If you light a cigarette, obviously tobacco's banned, we know this. But if you light a cigarette near it, poof, woo, 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 and the fire alarm's going off, right? Check this out. So the kid set a cell fire, right? And he was in a single cell, right? So we've he was on the ones at G2. G2 is the third landing, but... Yeah, anyway, so we've ran to the to the office and I said to Jack, I said, listen, uh, Williams has set his cell on fire. He said, no, no. He said, I said, boss, I said, I'm not messing about. I said, his fucking pad's on fire. I said, the alarm's not, I said, I'm not joking. So Jacko and another screw ran up the landing, right? And there's a thing called an Instamis machine, right? An Instamis machine is 
like you plug it into the mains and you put it you, like in the in the door there's an inundation hatch an inundation hatch is like a circle you put a key in and you turn it and then you can uncoil it right and it uncoils and then you can stick the nozzle through and you can you can put the fire out or suck all the smoke out put all the fire out um because it's not they say it's not the fire it's smoke that it's not the fire that kills you it's the smoke right smoke inhalation right now so they so they've run and got the um the instamist machine right the instamist machine like I said, sprays a mist put the fire out stuff like that right uh they, they go to plug it in the wall the, you know on a plug here in the uk there's three problems you've got one at the top and two at the bottom right well the top prong plug thing prong on this on the on the plug snapped this is why there's a man in a cell that yes he said it deliberately yes he said it himself some people might not have sympathy i personally do people don't set self eyes for no reasons right so well sometimes they do so uh, the, the the prong snapped off the thing. So it was like, fuck, so I'll have to get a fire extinguisher. So they go and get a fire extinguisher. In the meantime, the other screw is putting the key in the inundation hatch to uncoil it. It had not been lubricated with, with a lubricant like WD-40 or whatever. It seized. It had seized. It was the winter time. I think it was in October, November. The, the plug had seized, right? It's like a circle. Put a key in un and you, you thing it and it uncoils, right? It's supposed to uncoil uncoils and then you can like i said you've got a very small hatch so you can put a fire extinguisher through the fire hose through or the instamist machine through they go so it had seized do you know what they did then they resorted to squirting that well they, they they pulled the ring on a fire extinguisher the fire extinguisher failed they then ran and got the hose and then because the inundation hatch wouldn't open and they don't open the cell door like I've alluded to. Do you know what they had to do? They resorted to getting a fire hose under right the gap in the door at the bottom is probably like that. Right? They, they squirt in a hose pipe through the bottom of the door. Only one problem with that, the fire wasn't on the floor. The fire was on the bed. The bed is suspended, a metal bed into the wall is suspended above the floor. Right, so the fire hose was no fucking thing. So then the fire alarm went. The fire, the fire alarm's going off, and the fire engines come. And we got, we had to. They opened us all, and we all had to go down a fire escape and onto the yard. Um, and that's how it went down. Right, and then um, eventually they pulled him out from the cell. Um, he was spot. I think paramedics saw to him, and then he went. He was taken down to the segregation unit. Uh, and as we were, I said, I, I, I had my quilt wrapped around me. I said to Joan, uh, to William, sorry. I said, Williams, I said, cheers, bro. I said, I've not been that warm for a long time. Um, joking, making a, like a banter and stuff, right? Um, but the thing is, when you set a cell fire in prison, right, you, you actually get done with the uh, arson with intent to endanger life. Now, if, if they're being kind to you, they'll charge you with how many people are on the wing. If they're not being kind, and I don't think there was in Williams' case. I think they charged him with, I think they tried to charge him with with intent to danger 1,460 prisoners' lives, if I remember correctly. But that's bullshit, though, because the prison at Forest Bank, you've got the main, which is the star, goes around in like a star formation. And then you've got the top bit of the jail. The top bit of the jail um, used to be G2, used to be Detox. G1 was Eden Unit. H2 was Nonces. H1 was... I don't know that the role keeps changing. I think induction's gone back to the main to E one, I believe. Uh, F one is um, F one is basic on the ones, on the twos it's not. A one is young offenders, YOs, ruthless on there. Uh, A two, B two, and then I think the nonces are on C one or C two. I always get mixed up. But yeah, so crazy guys. But yeah, if you set a cell fire, a cell fire in prison. They do not open your cell door until the fire is out. Then they will pull you out. Then you're going to get a nick in. Then you're going to end up fucking, you're going to be charged with intent to endanger count X amount of lives. Like I said, depends on how nice they're being with you. Um, and you can rack up charges on top and you can end up spending longer in prison. People set cell fires for many different reasons. Mental health, complaints being ignored, uh, having a bad day, trying to get a move. Uh, want to get put into segregation things like that guys it goes on uh, i don't recommend anyone set a cell fire um but a lot of people do like i said this kid williams was in a single cell he'd just been jailed for 10 years he had nothing to lose uh, he had to do with a screw he come off worst and he set his cell on fire and then racked up charge on top of that um but yeah 
Uh, the next story reference Forest Bank, guys, is not very far away at all. Uh, we've got deaths in custody out. We've exposed prison officer corruption. Um, yeah, if any prison officers want to reach out to me and expose stories, uh, my number I'll put in the description. Feel free to contact me and tell me your stories. I will give you all anonymity. I'm not interested. I don't need to know your name. I don't need to know anything. Just give me the stories and I'll do the rest. Like there, leave it there, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Cody out.